Hi, I'm Matt. And I'm Matt. And, and we're, we're the Beer, beer Mats. Mats. Stop it. <laughs> Stop having fun. Stop it now. <laughs> beer Mats, Beer, Beer Mats, Beer Mats, Beer, Beer Mats, Beer Mats, Beer. Now, on today's episode of Beer Mats, we're going to be talking about the Codsall Beer Festival that we had the opportunity to go and fill. What are you laughing at? I've just been grinning all the went. <laughs> so I thought you'd know it's what you carried on. I was like, this I thought I'd messed up. <laughs> <laughs> so I wanted to carry on and go. On today's episode of Beer Mats, we're going to be talking about the Codsall Beer Festival that we had the uh, really awesome opportunity to go to a couple of weeks ago. From the amount of people that showed up, you wouldn't Surprising. think it was a small village. Yeah. You think you're in the middle of a city. It was it was packed. It was so many people, so well attended. Yeah. Um, so great job by Andy who organises the whole thing. We actually interview Andy in the video and you'll see that. And it gives us an insight as to why he put it on, you know, what encouraged him to do it and where he wants it to progress to. He's and got some really good he's plans. He's got some good plans and just say, well done, Andy. It was really great for the local area to have something like that. And to mention that all the proceeds from this go to charity as well, which is even yeah. more awesome. The amount of people that were there, they, they, they had to be raking the money. And they so, really did, yeah. So you could pay, I think, was it £5 up front? And you that covered your price of entry. And then you got either a half pint glass or a pint glass. Yes. Right? And you could give it back at the end and get like a couple of quid back. Or you could keep your glass and just not get your deposit you just back. just deposit about £3, you know, I Which is more money for them. I forgot my glass. He forgot his glass. So we don't really have our glasses. Andy, if you're watching, you've got a couple left over. <laughs> Send which, which, yeah, please, we'd like to get a couple just to put on our we'll just this is from last year but console beer festival in this you'll notice that we're, we review about three or four different beers i think three it was quite hard to get the camera around just due to how many people there were um, it's a miracle we got a table yeah it's absolutely a miracle it was very warm again due to the amount of people you'll be able to tell the temperature from the beads of sweat on you your can head. just see the yeah I, I i can't cope with that we kind of almost heat or took him outside for saint john's to review him because i thought you were gonna have a mild heat stroke to review me yeah saint john's to review to revive me or no review you, you'd to not review passed me. out if you'd passed out then yeah we'd get someone to revive you. Yeah, they were reviewing your health. I give him a four out of five on his health. I've just never heard that. Four before. out of five. <laughs> Pushing it. <laughs> five oh. out of ten. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hello, darkness, my, my old friend. friend. <laughs> they had local bands on all night. We've got, I think, some filming of one that our friend happens to be in. Ben, who's written some music yeah, for the, for the yeah. band, Matt, so we'll chuck that in for Ben. Annoyingly talented guitarist. Annoyingly Damn talented him. guitarist. But generally, we just had a really nice time, yeah. tried a few beers. My favourite brewery, local brewery anyway, Bruffs was there. Yes. So managed to get half of their we Pilsners. Both, we both managed to try that as well. Well, I went back for a pint and it was all sold out. It went They like were just gone. That. Yeah, so that Pilsner was obviously very, very popular, popular, completely gone by the time. I think it was like six o'clock on a Saturday, just gone. It was gone, yeah. What was great about it was there were so many different breweries from not just the West Midlands where we're based in the UK, but there was further afield, such as going towards Chester, towards sort of Warwick. And, you know, so it was really great to see. We just hope you enjoyed the episode. The sound quality was surprisingly better than we thought it was going to be. The picture's quality was great. We enjoyed it and we hope you will enjoy this video too. Yeah, so just watch the clips and please definitely watch till the end to uh, get that interview with Andy because his really insights worthwhile. into the beer festival definitely worthwhile. Again, Andy, thank you for letting us film and thanks for having us along. And please ignore my heinous double chin on said <laughs> interviews. Turns out I'm turning into Jabba the Hutt. Just very, very slowly. Just very slowly. Starting with the chin. Exactly, it's chin first, then my legs will just morph into one... <laughs> Hi, I'm Matt, and that's Matt, and this is Codsall Beer Festival. So I think the first beer that we're drinking is Bruffs. Yes. But you've had a bit more of it than I have. Yes. yes. Are you drinking the Pilsner, or are you going with the... I'm uh, with the Pilsner, because I've never tried it before. Yeah, I'm also on the Pilsner, because it's one of my favourite when it comes to Bruffs. I like it, I like it. Yeah. Good. I mean, I'm probably going to have another full pint of it. It's really smooth. Um, I think I'm going to try the Golden Owl. Give it, a, give it a rating? 6.5. I agree with the 6.5, yeah. Go with the 6.5. Okay. So I've actually both broken beer mat tradition. Um, I'm looking to Matt at the side of me and he's giving me a very uh, dirty look right now. I've moved on to a cider and a strawberry cider at that. It's pretty damn tasty. Even though I am getting really dirty looks, it, it was worth it. It was worth it. Um, I can't really rate this because I can give a personal rating. I give it a six and that's about it really. Can't go on the scale because it's not a beer, but... It feels good being a traitor.
right. So I'm now drinking Burning Souls Mount Olympus Pale Ale. It is the award-winning beer that Andy was telling us about. It's like um, Boy George, quite fruity. Very cloudy. And I'll give it a 6.5 out of 10. I'm drinking. Break, break. So we're here with Andy, who is the creator and organiser of Codswell Beer Festival. Yes. So you started in 2015. Yep. What encouraged you to do it? I moved to Codswell in 2013. Been drinking ale for some time, went yep. to different beer festivals. And I went to Bishop's Wood, which is a lot smaller village yeah, than Codswell. Yeah. They had a little beer festival on in the village hall, and I thought, we could, I should do this, we, we can need do this, we can do something. Definitely. And in Codswell, there's quite a lot of pubs, a couple of them do their own little beer festivals, but I wanted to do one for the village, really. Mm -hmm. And the village hall was one of the reasons I chose here, is because it's a central place. Good and, for the uh, community, definitely. Yeah, good for the community, and I wanted to do a festival that brings in everybody and all the money goes back, back into, into the, the festival no, fantastic the village like so that was reason for doing it really have you done anything like this before back now for you just because this was the first time i work in it for tarmac so oh. there's nothing to do with oh. nothing to do with events with a little bit of sponsorship there we can uh... no, nothing to do with them um, <laughs> nothing to do with events and i just spun it the first year we did just one day all yeah. day and night saturday last year we did friday night and all day Saturday and we've kept that this same, same format. format and we put the marquee up just because of weather in October you can't guarantee the weather. Do you see more variety of people turning up you know what's the thing you've noticed since 2015 to now? To be honest it's the mixture of people as well not only Codsell people we get a lot of people who are coming in from around the village around like the region, Telford yeah. people here last night from rugby I mean my oh, mates wow. flew back friends flew back from Amsterdam to come here and support okay. and what I've tried to do every year that in the program I put a little bit of a thing about feedback and I get a lot of people either feedback on Facebook yeah. or mail me via the, the beer festival email we listen to them and last year we had bands on both stages at the same time it was a logistical nightmare well, to I can imagine with the bar in the middle it's difficult as well because you've got music coming from yeah, one room and music one from the other yeah. you're going to be 10 so minutes saying 27 we, yeah this year we did one we've, we're switching alternated bands alternated it and that worked and then last year the most beer I threw away was dark beers and, and a lot of the younger people and even myself I prefer the blondes the yeah. hoppies the craft beers so I've kind of catered for, for that. that today I've just had one of my friend's mum say you should get like a coffee you know like a barrister coffee yeah. place on the side here because not all people oh, are yeah, here yeah. for the alcohol they're, they're driving somebody here so I'll probably drop one of them in next year no definitely is there a particular brewery notice that goes down very well or a particular style of the last ale two or... years Holden's beer has Holden's. gone down and it's ironic because Holden's have got a pub in the village as you know Broth's his beer the yes. pills are there we were drinking that earlier it's, re it's really nice we yeah, did like his it his Broth's pills is like that two barrels this year rather than one and that just that's flying out it'll be gone definitely. it'll be gone in the next hour I always every year try and make it bigger put more beers mm. on more ciders I want to get the marquee bigger but because the events for charity and that it's Butchered funding it. yeah and exactly. then, I mean like this year like our expenses I mean just before we've even made any money it's like 10, 10 grand of, exactly. of, for all the ale the cider the wine the venue you know what I mean so it's like I want to push it bigger but you've got to be sure you you've got to be them. within the realms of possibility it's, too, yeah, yeah. it's all well and good overreach yourself to check the best out yeah, of the festival yeah. but if it's not it's yeah. not affordable it's not I mean my, my ideal scenario is to make it so it's a beer festival and get a bit of a food festival down here you know yeah because I mean, well. they do do it in uh, Codstall yeah, as well Tom's too. here Tom Robinson from okay. Grand Vian he's from Digwood Dining Club Robinson's Butchers as well oh yeah his dad's owned Robinson's Butchers and his food always goes down the he's store. been going the, the pork bars have been flying out to be yeah, honest and they so. smell fantastic and I'm just holding myself off because I've got dinner when I get back <laughs> if you could recommend any of the drinks that you've had yeah. over the festival what is the one that stand out for you because we we're going to then go and try it oh there's a few actually. So, if I say an ale, yep. I'd say Bruff's Gold. Bruff's Gold, okay. Bruff's Gold or Blonde. Bly Monkeys, Blonde Bob Shell's nice as well. Okay. But from the craft bar, Burning Soul, and if you're aware of Burning Soul, no, they're from not. Birmingham. Great brewery, they've just won um, Thirst. 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 The Thirsty Games in Thirsty Manchester games. from okay. Indie Man and Punchline, who took over from Sacra Brew. Yes, I have. Uh, yeah, there, they've got two great beers. So I, I, I try. We'll and have to have a try with you. <laughs> yeah, I, I try and mix up and get as many like this year of the 43 hours we've got. Everyone's a different brewery because it's for charity. A couple of breweries give us beers, and this year I've tried to bang and uh, we have got. Yeah. A couple of breweries have gave us some free beer, and I've got them a second, uh, oh, second fantastic. beer. Like type. I think so, I'm going to say from personal because me and the other beer mat, we're from this area, so it's great to see our local breweries, especially from the West Midlands, and you know further afield. But it's it's still kind of got that feel. It's not you've got stuff coming from all over the world, etc., which is great. But I like the idea that at the moment it's 
looking after local breweries, getting more notoriety for them in the best possible way. Yeah, so yeah. I think from us, thank you very much. No, no, no. We're well, big fans. Going down, lads. No, definitely. Yeah, and uh, thank you. We'll be here next year. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Is that right, Russ?